Good morning, one and all. Our chief guest, Major General S.S. Rana, Sena Medal, Mrs. Shilu Rana, Head Coordinators, Honorable Parents of my dear children, my children, my dear teachers, and one and all present over here. A hearty welcome to you all, and it really gives me immense pleasure once again to welcome you. Possibilities unlimited is the motto of our school. And this succinctly points out the spirit of the school. And that is, it exhorts us to do and not to talk. It challenges us to seize new opportunities, take ownership and responsibilities of our lives, and to firmly believe that we and we alone can shape our destinies and no one to blame. And that's how the future would be something that we can look forward to. As a custodian of our students' dreams and aspirations, Ebenezer International School is committed to providing the best nurturing atmosphere to our students to strive grow, and then achieve their goals. Here, a very, very special thanks to our honorable and very dear director, Mrs. Pun Pinky Pujara, for all her valuable guidance and suggestions throughout. Without her encouragement, dear parents, we wouldn't have reached so far. With the invasion of technology into our day-to-day -day lives, we find that physical activity and physical efforts are taking a back seat. Very minimum heed is paid, I feel, to fit, uh, physical fitness in the true sense. From our end, of course, we have a unique, integrated fitness and sports program. And now we would request a little assistance from you, dear, my, dear parents, in shaping up and forming good habits amongst the students. For example, encouraging them to use the stairs instead of the elevators, letting them walk a mile or two instead of using the vehicles all the time, giving them the sense of using bicycles and helping a pollution-free environment, etc., etc. Champions, as we all know, are not made in the gyms. They are made from something deep inside over here. A dream, a desire, and a vision. Over here, we try to ignite that desire. Now over here, I'll just uh, give a very, very small incident which I'm reminded of during our preparations for these races. So when we were selecting one of our um, races, which dear parents you'll be very soon seeing, and I just suggested that we have a race where we zip up the jackets. Children will be doing it very soon in front of you. And um, my teacher immediately said, oh no ma'am, the small children will not be able to put the lock in the socket of the zip. I smiled and said, all the more reason, we'll have it. The aim being that we want them to learn. Can you believe the next day the teacher came equally happy and satisfied saying, yes ma'am, all of them could do it. So here, my dear parents, let us have the belief and the faith, first of all, in ourselves that the children will be able to do it. And then secondly, do believe they can do wonders. Isn't it, my dear children, you can do wonders? Yes, see? In the end, let me just remind you all that we in the international school over here right now are just in a very nascent stage having barely completed seven months. And uh, your enthusiasm to see a very high level of performance may be a little far-fetched at this point in time. But in future years, definitely, we will improve if at all. We have to. My endeavor has been that each and every person, each and every child takes part in an event. And not to right now focus on first winners, but a well-balanced, healthy individual 
who will have much more to contribute to the society and to the world at large. And here, dear parents, I would request you all to clap, applaud after each event, and also to wait till the end of the program, till all our children complete their games. And I'm sure I'll get that support from you all. So my dear children, this moment is yours and yours alone. Take charge, seize this moment, and allow it to propel you to the high levels of an empowered life and plant the seed of your happiness and success. Jai Hind. <laughs>